DVD era TV back at y'all with another one live from the dirty section of YouTube. Today we're going to talk about the times Beans was shot, arrested, and his success in the music industry. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers. Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies. Ooh. In early 90s, when it got <laughs> grimy. I was out of this world, you could not no. find me. Unless you check the lobby. Hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. Jano. You could catch me in Harlem eating Jim Bones. Look, man, if you support the channel and you rock with me, get yourself some DVD era t shirts, man. Support the merch, man. We got the long sleeve and the short sleeves. If you want one of these shirts, man, just hit the email or hit the cash app and I'll send it out. And also, if you want to promote something on my channel for my thousands of subscribers, hit the email up. I don't care if you rap, sing, dance, you got merch you're trying to promote, anything. Hit me up. Serious people only. In the late 90s, the world was introduced to Beanie Siegel after signing with one of the biggest record labels at the time, Rockefeller Records. Now around this time, Jay-Z was climbing his way to the top of the game, and after signing a Philadelphia artist with his lyrical ability and flow, we all thought Beanie Siegel was next to blow. He put out albums like The Truth, The Reason, The Becoming, and even state property albums along with The Young Guns, Chris and Neef, Oskino and Sparks. Freeway and Petey Crack. Mac Mittens even got a chance to hit the big screen, starring in movies like State Property 1 and 2 and even Paper Soldiers along with Kevin Hart. He even got a chance to put out the State Property clothing company that was made for the hustlers. But before Beans can get in the game and take the walk of fame, he had some legal issues. Now in 1994, Beans was in trouble with the law for taking the cops to war. Now supposedly, Bean's friend at the time was attacked and harassed by a dirty cop. Now, about a week later, Beans, along with his friend, seen that dirty cop and they beat him up and jumped him. Now, while Beans and his homeboy is jumping the police officer, the police officer passes off his gun to a civilian who's watching the whole thing go down. And that civilian begins to fire. As he fire, he hits Beans in the leg and Beans' homeboy in the butt. Now, the police officer was also struck. Beans and his homeboy was charged for the shooting of the officer, but later they will have all their charges dropped. But that wouldn't be Beanie Siegel's last running with the law. In January 2003, Beans was arrested after he allegedly punched a 53-year-old man in his face, fracturing his eye socket. Because of his other criminal charges, the case was delayed, with Siegel eventually being found guilty of misdemeanor assault in 2006 and sentenced to two years probation. In April 2003, Siegel was arrested after a South Philadelphia traffic stop turned into a high-speed chase, eventually ending with Siegel throwing a 45 caliber out the window of his Cadillac Escalade. In 2004, Siegel was found guilty of federal weapon charges. On January 3rd, 2003, Siegel was arrested and charged with attempt murder, stemming from the shooting on July 1st of Terrence Speller. Jay-Z, Dame Dash, and Beyonce were some of the people at his trial, which ended in a hung jury in 2004. When Beans was released from prison on federal weapon charges in 2005, he began a retrial in which he was acquitted on attempt murder charges. Siegel was jailed in November 2005 for failing to pay $27,000 in child support in 2000 and fines. A Philadelphia family court judge sent to Siegel to six months in prison, but Beans was later released after forking up $30,000 in payments. 2008 saw a string of parole violations by the Broad Street bully. In January of that year, Siegel violated his probation by going on a trip to Atlantic City and having contact with a convicted felon. He was sentenced to six months in a halfway house. In March of that year, he violated the terms of his parole again when he tested positive for Xanax and Percocets. Beans was arrested again August 15th, 2009 after a traffic stop in New Jersey turned into a charge of marijuana possession. The Philadelphia rapper who was en route to perform at a private event at Kelly's Bar in New Jersey was forced to cancel his appearance. Beans will find himself in trouble once again 
This time with Uncle Sam in 2010 when he was charged with tax fraud. Federal prosecutors say Beans failed to pay $1.5 million in earnings between the year 1999 and 2005, and he was sentenced to two years in prison. Beans' trouble with the law continued. He was arrested in Delaware County after a traffic stop revealed he had a firearm and a bottle of codeine syrup and prescription pills in a plastic bag. Being that he caught these charges, Charges, he had to start his two-year sentence immediately for his prior arrest. Now, during these times when Beans was going back and forth to jail, that wouldn't be the only trouble he would find himself in. Now, in 2006, Beanie Siegel was sitting in his car when he was approached by two vehicles with five guys in it. They attempted to rob Beanie Siegel, but he was able to flee the scene. Even though he was able to get away, he still suffered from two gunshot wounds to his upper right arm. He was treated at the University of Philadelphia Hospital and released in stable condition. Now, in 2014, Beanie Siegel was returning home after taking his kids to school, and he was shot in his stomach, and a bullet exit his back. Now, supposedly, there was a fight and altercation going on near Beanie Siegel house, and when he was shot, he wasn't an attended target. Now, some reports say he was breaking up a fight when he was struck, and some reports say he was caught in the crossfire. It's really not clear, but the only thing that's clear is when he was shot this time, it kind of ruined his career. Now, Beans was taken to the hospital where he remained in critical condition, and he had to get surgery, and when he got his surgery, they removed a big piece of his lung, and this caused him to lose his voice. He tried to record new music, but the music just ain't hit like it used to. It was kinda hard to adjust to his new voice. Now Max spent most of his time just doing shows, and spending most of his time investing his time into his new investments and other things he got going on. Now, this video was to show you sometimes we ain't got a beef with another man. Sometimes that beef we have is with that person in the mirror. Now, in Bean's case, he was definitely beefing with himself from all the trouble he was getting into, all the addiction he had to these drugs, even though it's just lean and prescription pills, but it's still a problem. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, tell me what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'm out. One.